Welcome everybody to my magical function machine. This is a really special machine in which mysterious mathematics takes place. I'm using my dining table. You can use your desk at school. Uh, you have an input and you have an output. And it's important that they remain in the same place the entire time. Now I'm going to get into my magic function machine. So you could model this as a teacher and then the children would be queuing up to get into your magic mach function machine. So in I go, let's see what happens. I'm getting in with two sparkly jewels. And perhaps the machine makes a noise. <laughs> I went in with two and I've come out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is going on in my special function machine? So we could think about that as a class. Now there are various options that I think you might be coming up with. It could be an add six machine, it could be a multiply by four machine, or it could be a machine that cubes whatever that goes in there. All of which gives me an answer of eight when I, my input is two. So the only way to test is to go back inside. And this time I'm going to go inside with three cubes. Can you predict what happens? So I get into my magical function machine, this time with three sparkly jewels. Perhaps there's a noise. Oh my goodness. I've come out of my machine and now I have nine sparkly jewels. So I think we can deduce, you guessed it, this special machine is an add six. So obviously you can change the function within your machine depending on the age group that you're working with. So this special add six machine, if I put in two gives an answer of eight. If I put in three gives an answer of nine as we've just seen. So we might predict that if I put in four, I'll get an answer of 10. Now I can use this machine to explore inverse relationships. I'm wondering if I put 11 joules as my output into this special magical function machine, can you tell me what the input must have been? And can you write the equation to match? So it's an add six machine and the output is 11. So our possible equations are the input add six is equivalent to 11, or 11 take away six gives us our input. So here we can clearly see the function, man, function machine showing the relationship between the operations. On a different day, a magical function machine could have a whole different function. Enjoy! Enjoy!